welcome to the magical and beautiful Avatar Grove. Today's practice is going to be all about getting your body moving, flowing, and connecting to your breath. We're going to take some really deep releasing stretches to truly give you the experience to release all the tension out of your body and mind. So if you guys are ready to get started, grab your mat and let's begin. All right, friends, let's get started today in Supta Baddha Konasana, so recline butterfly posture. Soles of your feet together, lie down on your back. Allow the knees to fall open and then take both of your hands and place them on your chest. Let's begin our practice today by taking long, deep breaths into the belly, into the ribs, into the chest. Exhale, letting it go. Taking this opportunity to connect to yourself to your heart, to your body, noticing how you're feeling right now in this very moment. And with this awareness, taking this time now to set an intention for your practice today. Take another deep breath in, and at this time, reaching both arms up over your head, bring your knees together, and then cross your left knee over your right, allowing both knees to fall to your right as you gently look over your left shoulder starting to warm up the spine with a gentle spinal twist. Extending your left arm away from you so you're getting deep into the shoulder as well. Trying to make sure that both of your shoulders are staying grounded on the mat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, returning to center, and then switch legs. So now this time right knee over left. Allow both knees to fall to your left as your right arm reaches across as you look over your right shoulder. Breathing deeply here. Finding that center, that awareness, that presence within you. Inhale deeply. And exhale, let it go. Come back to neutral. Uncross your legs. And at this time, bring both knees into the chest we're just going to roll like a ball a couple of times, rolling back and up to seated. And again, back and boat posture. And again, round through the spine. Use the strength of your core to find your balance. One more time. Coming into your boat posture. Now hold, extending both arms forward, dropping those shoulders away from the ears, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale, keep holding. Feeling that core starting to wake up. Energizing the body as you take another deep breath in. Exhale, cross your ankles and go ahead and transition over into plank position. Stepping both feet back, shoulders above your wrist. Pull the navel into the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Fingers are spread open. Stay here, continuing to engage through the core center. And then from here, go ahead and drop your knees to the ground, and then your chest, and then drop the chin as you slide forward. Inhale, gently lifting yourself up into baby cobra. Exhale, waving the body back down. And again, working with the breath here, creating wave-like motions with your upper body, pressing into the floor as you lift up. Exhale, down. One more time, press into the floor. See if you can go a little bit higher with your chest. Tuck your toes underneath now, pressing back into plank position. Hold it here. And then pushing your hips back into your downward facing dog. Well done. Open up the feet a little bit wider if you can. Opening your body, allowing that sternum to fall towards the mat. Rolling those shoulder blades inward as your elbows point downward towards the mat. Inhale. And exhale, coming back to that presence within you 
to your intention for your practice. Go ahead and bend your knees now and take two steps forward to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, slowly begin to bend your knees as you roll yourself up to standing. Nice and slow. Inhale again, arms reaching up to the sky. Exhale, bend the elbows, dive it down into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen through the spine. Exhale, hop or step back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, now opening the body all the way. Now bend your right knee and you're going to step your right foot behind you as you lift up into your wild thing. Your left leg is extended, you're reaching upward towards the sky with your heart, with your hips. Inhale again. Exhale, returning back into your upward facing dog by placing both hands down, opening up, lift those thighs off the floor, bend your left knee, step your left foot to the other side of your mat and lift up into your wild thing on the other leg. Lift up as high as you can with your hips. Squeeze your glutes here. Coming back to upward facing dog again. Open up, inhale. And then exhale, press your way back downward. Facing dog, release those hamstrings. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Relax into it. Enjoy it. Breathing deeply into every cell of your body. Exhale, bend your knees, hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend your knees as you reach both arms up to the sky and then come down a little bit lower into your chair posture, Utkatasana. From here, arms come behind you as you lift your heels off the floor. Heels down, arms up. Exhale, heels up, arms down. A few more times, just working with the breath. Inhale. Exhale, push back, lift those heels. Inhale, chair. Exhale, arms behind you as you lift those heels. Inhale, chair again. Going a little bit lower with the hips and then extending both legs up. Arch the back. Exhale, releasing into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, step or hop back into plank and then take that Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, opening into upward facing dog. Exhale, pushing back downward. Facing dog. Reconnecting to the breath, to the presence within you on this mat. Just find that breath and with each exhalation, allow yourself to enjoy this posture, to go deeper to let go of any tension, any restriction within your body. On your next inhale, go ahead and reach your left leg up to the sky, three-legged dog, bending that top knee and stepping between your two hands at the top of the mat, around the back heel, and at this time, take your hands behind your head, interlace the fingers as you open up the chest, and then as you exhale, lead back down with the chest, coming all the way down with the body, trying to align that left shoulder with the inside of your left knee. Your arms are reaching up to the sky, so going deep into the shoulders. You're looking down towards the mat, forehead reaching towards the floor. You're grounded and stable. There's equal power and balance between your two feet. Inhale. Exhale, keep holding. Noticing any sensations within your body that are happening right now in this deep posture. Inhale again. Exhale, lift your chest back up, flex your front foot, and then turn your foot inward, coming into your wide-legged forward fold, continuing to keep your hands behind you interlaced. And then see if you can bring those fingers as close to the mat as possible. So going even deeper, into that shoulder release. A slight pigeon toe of your feet to make sure you're protecting your knees. And just breathe here, feeling that release through the hamstrings. To make this posture a little bit easier, you can always take your feet slightly more apart. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time, deep breath in. 
On your exhale, slowly lift your chest back up, flexing your left foot and then pivoting that foot so you're coming back into warrior two, bending that front knee, continuing to keep your fingers interlaced, arms behind your back, drop those shoulders away from the ears, going down a little bit deeper and then extending the arms out to the side. Go a little deeper, inhale, arms up to the sky, exhale, bring the hands to the side. Just work with the upper body, stay low with the lower body. Exhale, arms down. Let's hold it here, strong upper body, looking towards the front fingers. Deep breath in. Exhale, take those hands behind your back again. Interlace the fingers, taking your peaceful warrior as you arch the back, pushing downward with your hands. And then slowly coming back into that warrior one variation, arms reaching up to the sky, chest is low, left shoulder aligned with your left knee. Stay here and breathe, inhale. Going a little bit lower to the ground with your forehead if you can, while still maintaining that balance. And then come on up halfway, turning the back heel and transitioning over into our crescent lunge. Bending that front knee even further if you can. Opening that chest and the heart. And then from here, we're going to transition forward by shifting your weight to that left foot. Bring your right knee up. And then place the right foot on the top of your left knee coming into our standing pigeon. Releasing your index fingers and pointing both of your fingers up to the sky. Continuing to keep the other fingers interlaced. Going deeper into those shoulders again. Find that balance and hold. Focused, keeping your concentration as you breathe, as you find stillness. Inhale. Exhale, feel that stretch through the right glute muscle. Get low with your chest if you can. Beautiful, you guys. Take another deep breath in. Exhale out. Keep reaching with those fingers up to the sky. Slowly from here now, releasing as you come on up. Bring the right knee back up to the chest. And then extend and step back into that crescent lunge again. Releasing the arms up to the sky, palms together. Bending the elbows and looking up towards the sky if you can. Hands back over to your chest and your heart. Reconnecting with that presence, that intention. And then bring the hands back down. Stepping right into your plank position, let's take a push up. Bring it back up. And then Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, opening into upward facing dog. Open up through that chest and exhale, release downward facing dog. Well done. Take a moment here to come back to that presence again, that breath, that center, that awareness within you, that intention that inspired you to get on your mat today. Inhale, exhale, go deeper. On your next breath, you're gonna reach your right leg up to the sky, bend the knee, and then step it forward between your two hands at the top of the mat. Ground your left heel down. Interlace the fingers behind your back as you open up the chest and then dive it back down with your chest to the floor. So now we're trying to align the right shoulder with the inside of your right knee. Fingers are interlaced. Your arms are reaching up towards the sky. Your gaze is down on your mat and you're trying to get that forehead to come down to the floor. So really feeling this opening in the hips. Finding that stability and grounding between your two feet as you reconnect with that breath on your inhale. Exhale. Beautiful, you guys. One more breath. On your next exhalation, you're going to slowly come back up with your body, extending the front knee, and then coming right over into our wide-legged forward fold. 
And one more time, we're trying to get both of your fingers to touch the floor if you can. Of course, that's the goal, so don't worry if you're far away from it. Just feel the benefits of this posture. Allow your body to release deeper and deeper with each exhalation. If this posture is a little too difficult for you, try opening your stance a little bit wider. The wider your feet, the easier this posture will be. Continuing to breathe as you allow your chest to come down. Top of your head is reaching for the floor. Arms reaching for the floor. Deep breath in. Exhale, lift your body back up. And you're going to flex that right foot, pivot the foot, bend that right knee coming into your warrior two. Right knee is facing towards the front of your mat. Back leg is extended, arms behind your back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and then extend the arms out to the side. Strong upper body here. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, arms down to the side. Inhale again, arms up to the sky. Exhale, arms out your side. Strong body, hold. Take the arms behind your back. Once again, interlace the fingers. Now extend those elbows as you arch the back, opening your heart up to the sky, throwing your head back as comfortably as you can, and then releasing back down with your chest to our first variation of our warrior one. Your shoulder aligned with the inside of your knee, your chest releasing down. Hold, reaching both of your hands up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, now slowly lift your chest back up to center. Lift your back heel and then pivot on the toes until you reposition your body into your crescent lunge. Opening your chest, extending those elbows, and then you're going to shift your weight forward and then bring that left knee up to your chest placing your left ankle over top of your right knee, extending your index fingers, other fingers are interlaced as you release down into your standing pigeon pose. Try and get that chest low towards that leg if you can. Your index fingers are pointed up to the sky. As once again, we go deep into the shoulders as well as going and releasing any tension out of the left glute muscle. Find your balance, find your focus, find your strength. Breathe deeply. Find that internal power within you. Inhale. Exhale, you can do this, just stay here. Keep breathing, keep getting that chest low towards that leg. Your other knee is bent and then slowly lift up with your chest again, bring the left knee back up, step back into your crescent lunge. Let's release those fingers now and reach both arms up to the sky. Palms together in Anjali Mudra as you bend your elbows and then slowly bring your hands over towards your heart, taking one breath to reconnect and then exhale, hands down, step back into your plank, take one push up, and then take your Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, release, downward facing dog. Well done. Take this opportunity right now to just let it go. Inhale. Exhale, now from here, let's bring the feet together and just roll through into plank position and then wave your body back into downward facing dog. A couple times like this, just make this movement feel good on your body. Wave it through into plank and wave it back into downward dog. Coming back into plank, back into downward dog. So your head follows the rest of your body. Inhale, come into plank. And then let's take that chaturanga again. Release the feet as you open, upward facing dog. 
And then from here, I want you to bend your knees, push back over into child's pose, and then round through back into your upward facing dog. A couple times like this, bend your knees. So same wave-like motion with the upper body, except we're going from upward dog to child's pose. And back to child's. And upward facing dog. One more time, back to child's pose. And then slowly come on up to your knees. Make sure your knees are hip width apart. Place your hands onto your lower back or around the sacrum area. And then press your hips forward as you arch the back and open up the chest into our camel. If you'd like to go deeper, you can release the hands all the way over to your heels and then release your head all the way back. So keeping your hands on your back is a little bit easier than going all the way down. So take whichever version feels best for your body and then just continue to push those hips forward. Arch and open up the back. Open up the heart up to the sky, up to the universe. Close your eyes and just feel this extension of your body. Enjoy it. Release any tension within your heart, within your chest, within the frontal area of your body. Open yourself up to receiving love and all the beautiful energy that's around you. Inhale, exhale. Now to come out, go ahead and bring your hands back over to your hips, to your lower back. Come back to neutral spine first, so straight back. And then sit back over to your heels. Just take a second to allow the spine to neutralize and then release over into our counter posture, our child's pose. Your arms reaching forward, your forehead down. Breathing into the lower back. Inhale. And exhale. Come on up to your knees and release into your upward facing dog. And then exhale. Push back downward facing dog. Release the feet. Inhale again. Exhale. Bend your knees and hop towards the front of your mat. Feet together. Inhale halfway. Exhale. Fold. Inhale, come on up to standing as you reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend the elbows and dive yourself back down. Inhale, halfway lengthen. And then exhale, I'd like you to bend your knees and slowly make your way over to a seated position on your mat. Flexing your feet in front of you as you extend the knees, inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. And then exhale, taking yourself forward into your seated head to toe forward fold either reaching your hands over top of your feet or grab the ankles or even place your hands behind your knees whatever feels best for you allowing yourself to let go closing the eyes bringing your forehead as close to the knees as you can and just enjoy let it go with each exhalation letting go of any energy tension resistance within your body that you've been feeling today over the last few days or perhaps the last week or the last month. Consciously with awareness, let it go. And as you exhale, allow your body to release further down over top of those legs. Inhale. And then exhale, let's release. So begin to slowly roll your back all the way down towards the mat, nice and slow. Use the strength of your core here to control the movement. And then releasing your head all the way down as you open the palms up to the sky. Relax your body, open up those legs. And let us release into our final posture, Shavasana. Closing the eyes, taking this opportunity to welcome complete relaxation of the entire body. Breathing in deeply into your nose and letting it go as you relax, surrender, and melt into the ground. Letting go of any tension in your face. Let it be completely neutral. Letting go of any tension in your shoulders. 
letting go of any tension in your heart. Relax. Relax your glutes, your thighs, your knees, your calves and your feet. Completely let go and relax your body. This is your moment to only focus on the motion of the inhalation and exhalation through the body. And with each inhalation, welcoming, rejuvenating, energizing, positive energy into every cell of your body. Letting this energy fill you with light, with love, with compassion, with happiness and peace. Inhale and exhale. Just let it go. Now feel free to stay in Shavasana for a much longer period if you wish. Or if you're ready to come out, go ahead and welcome movement into your body. Bending your knees into the chest and then rolling over into your fetal position and then coming up to your seated position on your mat. Be crossed in front of you. Just take a moment to find that center between your two sit bones. Inhale and exhale. Find that presence again. And just like we did in the beginning of our practice, we're going to finish off today by placing our hands on our heart and reconnecting with our heart, with the love and peace within us, with this beautiful presence and awareness that is always here for us to return to. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, just feel your heart vibrating and sending this beautiful pranic energy through your body. Let's take another deep breath in, this time reaching both of your arms up to the sky, palms together, and bring your hands back over to your heart, bowing down to your heart and thanking yourself for your beautiful practice today. Thank you so much for joining me today in this beautiful forest. I send you love and light. Namaste. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this practice, feel free to click that subscribe button to make sure you're staying up to date on all of our new yoga classes. Thank you again, and we'll see you soon.